Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you have not been here before, welcome to another episode of Wine and Design. sun is like shining right here so I'm perfectly in the part that's not like blinding because if I come over here it's, it's real bright but my wine is in the wine my wine is in the what my wine is in the sun right now and it was shining but this is actually the wine I drink on um, my birthday wine and design video so it is the Bonterra Rosé as you guys know it's hard to go through a whole bottle of wine on when you're the only one that really drinks it at home because my boyfriend does not drink it so i still have this delicious rosé a little bit of that as we get to designing today um and actually i'm going to be making a video to talk to you guys about shopify and integrating that with wordpress because i have been kind of thinking about switching from WooCommerce to Shopify. I've done it for my clients before and I decided for my own personal website, it's time to make that transition because Shopify is really reliable. It's very like fast. The checkout system is just reliable. That's the main reason I want to switch over to Shopify. Okay, so let me set a little list to kick it off. I'm going to talk to you guys today about the best way to integrate Shopify with WordPress and how to really display that the best way, the easiest way, and the most clear way because there's quite a few ways to integrate it and I want to show you guys what I recommend. So first off, you're going to want to purchase Shopify Lite. Shopify Lite is about $9 a month or you could pay, I think in total it's $96 for the year and that's $8 a month. So you could save a little bit by purchasing it all together, but I personally like doing the month to month just because like I am doing right now, sometimes new things come up in our industry and I want to switch over to that. I don't want to be locked into something. So yes, it's $9 a month and I'm going to read off some of the things to note about it that could either make or break your decision. So um, basically there is a 2.9% plus 30 cent online credit card rate and there's also a 2.7 percent plus zero dollar in-person credit card fees which we don't need to worry about because all the things i'm selling are online digital downloads but if it was an in-person shop that's something you definitely would want to be aware of that there is going to be that 2.7 percent fee that goes with it but i'm not really opposed to this because stripe is what i'm originally using right now with woocommerce and they already take about the same amount of percentage. So this isn't really affecting me in any way, but it is good to note that 30 cent is affecting me. So I have kind of been considering maybe that is gonna deter me from it, but like I said, the reliability and just the safe feeling you get from Shopify is worth it in my opinion. And um, I've been using WooCommerce for years, so that, that's coming from experience and WooCommerce is just a little bit more difficult to use. It's especially when it comes to digital downloads, it's a little bit more difficult to get that all set up and Shopify is pretty simple. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So I wanted to start off by mentioning that, but let's hop on over to my computer screen and I'm going to show you guys how to integrate them and how to set it up on WordPress. Okay, so let me start recording my screen. I'm gonna show you guys just as an example. I am putting stickers for sale on my um, website. So it's a perfect time to show you guys how I'm setting that up. And I'm so sorry, the sun is, um, it's really creating an issue right now. But we're gonna ma be mainly looking at the screen, so I'm just gonna go with it, I guess. But, um, okay, so I, literally just today set up my Shopify store and I'll just show you guys right here. Um, this is, oh yeah, I am recording. This is the Shopify light plan. So like I mentioned, it has those fees with it. Um, and it actually has different fees for like Amex or shop pay installment rates. So you can actually basically take away that shop pay option so you don't need to worry about that there's you can customize how people are paying if you don't want them to use mastercard visa whatever 
but um, yeah, that's an option, just so you know. Um, but first off, this is the first step you would do, is sh set up your Shopify Lite um, basically store, but you're not going to have an online storefront. That's the difference between the Shopify Lite versus these different plans. Shopify Lite does not have the online store. So just so you guys can see, if I choose this, it will... Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to put my credit card info, info in to buy this. But um, if you were to buy that, something right here would pop up online store, which is basically your storefront, your website, and how you would design it. But we don't need that since we're on WordPress, so Shopify Highlights is a perfect option. This also works well for Show It. This is what almost all Show it people do, and from what I've heard. Um, so there's options. Leo's coming to say hi. You don't want that, maybe. Um, so yeah, you're going to set up your Shopify um, website um, and then you're going to head on over to your products and when you're setting up your Shopify, you might as well just set up your payment system and everything so that you can get paid and so you can basically test out what you're doing. Um, but now you're going to want to add your products. So I actually already added a couple, but I'm going to add a brand new one with you guys. So I'm going to head over to add product. And Leo is just all over my desk right now. Um, so I'm going to add wine and design sticker. And since I already set this up on my website with WooCommerce, I'm just going to copy the descriptions, the photos, all of that over. And these aren't for sale yet, guys. They will be for sale within like two weeks. I'm going to be leaving for that solo trip. I don't want to have to worry about shipping. Um, any of the stickers while I'm gone and I'm also waiting for them to come so I don't have them yet but I will have them soon and yeah so it's a little sneak peek of it but um so I'm gonna copy this description right here and paste it into there and I'm also gonna just save the images so that I can use those as well not dead set on the price yet so don't be uh, alarmed if that looks like high to you this is just kind of what I'm thinking based on what it is to print each sticker so that's what I'm gonna put for the price um, I can add other media let me see what other media I have I'm gonna add this one and I actually found these mock-ups on free pick from this artists and they're just beautiful so I think I'm gonna actually mock one up on one of hers but the problem is I want it to look like a sticker mock-up so I wonder if she has a sticker I wish I could search within that but I'll probably look around and see if she has a sticker mock-up with that same style because I'm trying to keep it super consistent on my shop page since I'm customizing the shop page which you guys will see but for now, we don't need to worry about that. But um, anyway, so I added that picture. Now when you come down here, I don't want to add charge tax on that. Um, for here, I am going to track the quantity just because it will help with like inventory if I'm running out of stickers or something. And um, actually, I'm going to be ordering 50 of them. So if I'm running out of stickers, it will notify me. That way, if anyone orders, I it'll pop up that it's out of stock or something. <laughs> This is not a physical product, so I can remove that. Um, I am going to put tags like stickers, and I'm also going to put a product type sticker. Okay. And then for sales channels, um, I don't need Facebook, Point of Sale, Messenger. We're only going to be using the buy button, so. That's all I really need. I'm gonna save this and takes a minute. Perfect time to drink the wine. Now it's still in draft mode, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it active because we need to customize the the links and stuff for it. Uh, actually, this is a physical product. What am I thinking? 
so I'm gonna actually change it to physical product and um, the weight God, it's like nothing probably maybe one ounce <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna probably don't really need the SKU so I'm just gonna leave all of that right now and uh, okay so it's active so now this is the part where you customize it for WordPress so I'm gonna head over to buy button on the left here and we're gonna create a buy button and then you're gonna go product buy button and select that product you just made let me close the door because the laundry is going So, um, I actually already have some of the customization I've done, like the color of the button, the fonts and stuff, which is awesome that it saved it like that for me. So I'm going to end up doing full view is perfect. And um, yeah, so that's gonna how it's going to show up. You can literally edit like the product title, the price font, all the fonts. You can, you can edit all of that, which is awesome too. But I'm going to head over to my website now and show you guys how I create the product shop pages. So let me head on over there. I created a whole new page, um, which I need to get to. Okay, so this is the page I'm working on right now. It's templates. I'm going to change that to store or something, but this is what I have going. So I'm just going to show you an example of this is a Shopify product. So if I go to view details, it's going to bring me to that product info page. And then when I add to cart, it's going to pop up here on the right side, which is honestly really nice. And then when you hit checkout, um, I need to make sure I have all this figured out. I think it's because I haven't purchased the light plan yet that this isn't showing up, but we're going to make sure of that before we bring this page live or anything. But that is what it looks like. So you do have to kind of click through pages, but that's typically how a shop page is. You click into the details and all that. So I'm going to work on this one right here. But first, let's head on back to that buy button customization. So everything looks pretty good. I'm going to hit next and there is our code so super simple i'm going to copy that code and um i'm going to have to create a new page on my wordpress website so i'm going to go to pages and add new and we're going to call this the line and design sticker And I'm actually gonna just clone the page where I created the other products. That way it just keeps it simple. And I'll just kind of let this run. You guys, you guys can watch and see. Okay, actually this is quick. So I'm gonna say, say clone existing page. We're gonna do, um, let's see if I can find it the mocha branding template which is going live tonight you guys if you're interested in a branding package i have a whole one that i'll kind of show you guys after i show you this but you're gonna hover over i'm using divi if you guys don't know that's like my go-to for wordpress this is the divi theme builder it's awesome i'm gonna hover over that and hit the settings and on this code part i'm gonna select it all paste the new one and then we're gonna see the wine and design product details. So there we go. And then if I were to add to cart, it would add it right here and you'll be able to check out. So that is how I do it. There's a lot of other ways to do it. You can have just the button linked directly to the checkout page. There's um, also a way to have the full details on that shop page right away. But I prefer to have it like, like I had it with the template page that I was showing you guys. So if I go back here, um, I prefer to have it like this where you just see all the products and then you can click in to see more details. That's how I prefer it. I just think it's clean and nice. So that's how you do it. It's pretty simple and 
honestly really nice that we have this option with WordPress where you can just like embed it into your website. I was going to show you guys this as well. I'm going to exit. If you go to your products on Shopify and click into like the wine and design sticker, if you go to more actions, you can actually just create your checkout link right from here. So there's a lot of ways to do it. And there's also an app where you can add digital attachments. So for my like branding um, package template, I have a digital product for that. For the contract, I have a digital product for that. So that is how you do it. And I wanted to show you guys that. So real quick, I just wanted to mention the new product that you might see right here. Like I said, this page isn't gonna be live yet, but this branding package template is gonna be going live hopefully by tonight, and I'm so excited about it. I've been working pretty hard on it, and it's basically, so when you deliver your files to your client, I'm gonna just talk to you guys for a second. When you're delivering your files to your client, it's nice to have the client experience very aesthetic, and just like how you've been giving them beautiful artwork, you wanna make sure that your whole experience is just enhanced and aesthetic and nice. So this brand package template, I called it Mocha because it has a lot of the browns and the tans and the neutral colors in it. And it just is a very, very beautiful package. So what it comes with is, I think it's, let me count how many pages. I think it's about eight pages. Each page will go over and it will actually describe to the client what the primary logo is, what the secondary logo is, and what the mark logo is and it'll also explain how to use the specific typography and the fonts that you chose for them it'll explain all of that for them and i put that on the template for you guys so you can provide that to your client and this is like the front page of it so you can like head inside i tell you what to replace and with what to replace it with and um it's basically just a template to make it really fun to hand over your branding, everything you did for your client into this beautiful package. And I created a little sheet in the beginning of the package if you guys do purchase this, where it explains my tips on how to edit it and what to say when you send it and everything. So don't be like fearful if you don't know what to do once you buy it. I have a whole direction sheet on how to find the right mock-ups, what to mock-up, but also just like how to describe the colors and also how to link because you want to make it so your client can download and access all the logos and everything. So on Adobe Acrobat, if you guys have that, you can actually link. So if they click on the image, it'll take them to like Dropbox or something so they can download all the elements and everything that you made them. But I'm so excited. So this will be live when you guys are seeing this actually because I'm going to get it up tonight. So if you guys are interested, definitely check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them, but it is just a way to help you guys enhance your client experience and send them something in a beautiful aesthetic way. So cheers to Mocha, the Mocha branding template. And I'm gonna have a lot more coming out with like more masculine um, elements to it and other things like that. So we got lots of things coming your way. I also have website, oh my god, sorry, that was sour. I also have website templates coming your way too. So I'm just here to help you guys and I'm so excited that my store is really coming to life. This was a goal for me this year was to really just create products that help other designers and just have great aesthetics because that's what I live for is just beautiful aesthetics. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was a lot of talking. I know usually I I'm kind of playing some music while I do these minor designs, but I wanted to explain to you guys so you know exactly how to integrate Shopify Lite with WordPress. I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below if it was. And also, if you like my videos, I would appreciate it so much. If you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Keep trying.